After successfully replacing the Elephone P9000's LCD screen, the phone still needs to be upgraded or the, the ROM needs to be flashed before the screen can start to work. Today, I'm going to show you how I managed to upgrade or flash my ROM without losing any user data or application data. Before we begin, it is always a good idea to first back up your data. First, let's talk about Clonit. I highly recommend it because it's a free app available on Play Store which you could use to back up your contacts, SMSs, call logs, apps, and many more. Now, because my phone screen is not working yet, I need to have some visual feedback. This is a screen mirroring method and I will do another video on how to screen mirror your phone to your PCs or to your laptop. So download the app from Google Play Store and install it. Once it's installed, the process uh, to use it is pretty self-explanatory. You need to choose your current phone as the sender and then download clone it on another phone to use it as a receiver. Now, by having another phone as a receiver, you actually have a backup on another phone, which is, to, in my opinion, safer than having it on the same device itself. So now I'm trying to back it up to another device of mine, which is the phone I was using before I switched to Elephone P9000. And it's pretty simple. And that's it. The second method would be to use the backup and restore app that's already available on your phone. Some of these backup apps allow you to store the backup data on your external SD card. On this Elephone P9000, this is how the backup and restore app look like. It's uh, separated into personal data and you can select on contact, messaging, pictures, and music to backup. And there's another section which allows you to backup your applications. Now I'm not sure if by backing up your application backs up the data that comes with the application as well, but this is just a backup plan in case your flashing or upgrading fails. Now, let's move on to how to upgrade or flash your Android phone's ROM. Now, there are a few things that you need to do. First thing first, you need to download the smartphone flash tool, in short SP flash tool. I'll leave a link in where I downloaded it from. And this is to flash devices of the MediaTek. Next, you need to install the MediaTek USB preloader and VCOM port driver. I'm sorry that I won't be able to demonstrate these, but I will leave a link uh, in the description to sh uh, direct you to a website which I think would be very helpful in guiding you on how to download or install the drivers. And of course, you would need to download the the Elephone P9000's official ROM. The seller of the LCD screen has provided me a ROM which is dated 2016 June 10th, which I don't find on the website, but I guess June 8th would do. And if you face any difficulties on installing any of the drivers or flash tools, you could always refer to Elephone's official website. Now, it talks about how you don't need to remove the battery, but I actually find it necessary for my Elephone P9000 in order to follow the steps that are shown here. How to remove the battery, you asked? I'll put a link in the description to another video which I've done on how to disassemble the phone. Once you've uh, disconnected the battery, go to your computer system properties and go to device manager and under the uh, 
the processes, I believe, you will see your media tag preloaded. Right click on that and update the driver. Next, go to the downloads folder and zip your SP Flash tool. Locate the SP Flash tool application, run it, and you need to select the scatter file. Locate the scatter file from the unzipped ROM folder. It's pretty straightforward. Locate it as shown, and you'll have options displayed. If you just want to upgrade your ROM without losing data, you should uncheck the preloader TEE1, TEE2, which in some, on some phones they are shown as EBR1, EBR2. Uncheck the user data and cache as well. Before you proceed any further, please make sure that you choose download only. Click download and it, sometimes things might not happen. And for Elephone P9000, I think it is essential for you to switch off the phone and then reconnect it and the process will start as shown. And let the process run and when it, it is completed, you would have to restart your phone and let it update all the apps. There you have it, the Elephone P9000 is upgraded with all the application data still uh, as original and I hope this video helps those of you who are experiencing the same issue as I did.